So today we're going to add a web part to our SharePoint site. So this allows us to customize the look and feel of the SharePoint page and add different types of content. So we can go to the page and we can edit our page. And here we can easily browse the different content. So they're known as app parts or web parts. Uh, we can click on the app part. If we've got some existing setup, we can highlight it and click add and that will add it to the page. Um, for the purposes of this, we need to add some new content. So we're gonna to go to site contents. That's just gonna browse away. And here we're gonna add a new web part. So when we add a new web part, we're presented with a list of existing templates. Um, so there's quite a number of them. For this one, we're gonna use the task template. So this is a simple tracking, tracking list. And this has now added our new task list to SharePoint. You can click on it and we'll see how it's set up. From here you can actually edit and change the look and feel. So you can go into the list settings and this is where you can customize the columns, you can change the headings, you can add new columns, you can remove columns. Um, and also the views, so the views are what you see on the page. So once we've added it and finished it, we can now add this app part to our home page. We can always access it again from the site contents leak, but from here we're going to add and edit our page. click where we want it to go, insert app part and we'll be able to see our new app part in the list, so this is the new task list, highlight it, click add and that's now added it to our page. You can drag those headings around to change the order, move it into different section, um, but for now we're just going to save that. and we'll see now that it's appeared on the front of our page. So we can now go to work and add new tasks in this particular one. So we'll just quickly add a test, give it a date. We've added myself as the assigned resource and again these fields are all customizable on that list settings. That's saved, that's added and there we have it, our new task.